our four feeder elementary schools. So for Ms. Pedraza, is Ms. Pedraza still here? Yay, come on up. So our future Buccaneer Artist Award from Bayside Elementary is Avery Finical. Congratulations. Our next Future Buccaneer Artist Award is from Kent Island Elementary, Ms. Dorsey. And our Kent Island Elementary winner is Grayson Aguilar Macario. Next up, we have Graysonville Elementary, Ms. Fence. And our future Buccaneer Artist Award is Eleanor Bradley. Next up, we have Stevensville Middle School. 
So our sixth grade future Buccaneer artist from Stevensville Middle School is Lorelai DeGore. Future Buccaneer artist from Stevensville Middle is Mackenzie Flowers. And I already know that this student is going to be taking all of the art classes at Kent Island High School if we can fight over her. Future Buccaneer artist from Stevensville Middle is the lovely Grace Evans. <laughs> Again, I just want to take a minute and recognize our amazing middle school programs. These two women work so hard to come up with amazing engaging projects. They support their students, they love them, they encourage them to continue that passion when they get here at the high school. So, Thank you so much for everything you do to make our program a success as well. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of a break, and I would encourage you to vote for the most likely to be purchased award. You can just write the name and the title on a little ticket at our front booth. We do have artwork for sale. If that's something you're interested in, you have to contact the artist or one of the high school art teachers, and we can negotiate that deal for you. Um, we also have a lot of art demos going on. We're going to be back in about 15 minutes for the high school awards and induction ceremony, okay? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We're going to give out some awards. My name is Andrea Schulte. I'm the department chair here at Penn Island High School. And on behalf of my amazing team, uh, Lakel Menno and Russell Pergodich, I want to thank you for coming tonight. After two years of having virtual shows, we are so excited. Person. There's nothing like artsy here at Kent Island High School. It speaks volumes that you are here tonight. You are investing in student voice and creativity and supporting that. And I say that tonight is like our Super Bowl. So thank you for being part of it. I would like to thank our superintendent of schools, Dr. Salins, for being here tonight and for supporting the arts in Queen Anne's County Public Schools. Thank you so much. Mr. Michael Bell, he is our art supervisor of instruction. He's also our biggest advocate and cheerleader, so Mr. Bell, thank you. Of course, we want to thank our amazing administration here at Kent Island, Mr. Kenna, our principal, Ms. Rankin, our academic dean, uh, all of our assistant principals, Mr. Hardy, Ms. Smith, and Mr. Barnum. Uh, they supported us with this event, but they support us every day, all year long, too, so thank you very much. Our custodial staff who helped us set up, and they're going to help me clean up again later, so thank you to them. Uh, the American Legion and our Ken Island Elves, they were instrumental in being able to give so many awards out this year, so I want to thank them for being amazing uh, supporters of the arts. Every time I call them, they are happy to help us out, so thank you. Before we get started with the induction, which, don't worry, it's a quick ceremony, so hang on, we're good. Uh, I want to go over some visual, depart visual arts department highlights that we have uh, experienced over the last two years. So I will go quick, but these are worth noting. These kids have done amazing things outside the classroom. So just a few of the places that we have showcased over the last year and a half, because I'm throwing the COVID years right in there too, because the arts never stop. We never stop. We taught virtually, we did art shows, we've done competitions, we never slowed down. So we worked in the environmental sculpture contest, it was judged by Uni Hogan. We did a collaboration with the Academy Art Museum where our students curated and contributed to a show. We had our work in the BWI Art Gallery. More of them. Back-to-back -back years, we had students with the First Lady Art Exhibition. We've had back-to-back -back winners for the QAC Opioid Awareness Poster Contest. 
I'm like a proud mama. I gotta brag on all of them, you know. You're gonna hear about everything. Uh, this year's Superintendent Gallery Award winner is Emily Alt, and I do need to mention, we have a print of Emily's work, and it is for sale. If you are interested, come see me. She's going places, you're gonna want one. We've had several arts teams of the week, and I want to thank Mr. Bell for always putting those out into the newspaper and celebrating our kids. Uh, we always participate in the annual mid tour show down at the Academy Art Museum. And we had two award winners that night, Talia Crow and Emily Alt. Uh, Baron Hussey, right? I think Baron was a winner. Oh, no. Them laughing at me is a normal thing, so that's, it's only appropriate that even at the awards zone. Uh, Ms. Neto hosted two PBIS paint nights here at Penn Island, and we had a lot of fun, great success with that. We had our first entry into the Maryland Post Society Art Competition, Shelby. Uh, Marin also did a collaboration with one of our Queen Anne's County High School students with a cover of the program of study. We also were invited to do a coloring book contest where we designed coloring book pages for students throughout Maryland. And we had, all of our students were chosen and we had a, a winner as well, uh, Maddie Hall. Ms. Neno also had started a mural when she was at the uh, at Mattapeak Middle, and she invited those students who worked then to come back this year and finish it up, so that was pretty great. Beautiful mural over at Mattapeak in the Annex. We had two students enter the Smithsonian Teen Portrait Competition. We're still waiting on results for that one. We had two students also enter the Life After Conflict Art Competition, also waiting to hear who won. Uh, we also have the Kifa show that is coming up uh, in a couple weeks. We're actually dropping work off tomorrow. And each one of us has five entries going in. So these are Ms. Neno's, Mr. Pergodich's 3D work, and some 2D work. We also have three entries this year representing Andy Harris uh, for the congressional show that will hang in the Capitol. So we will find out, I believe, next week who wins that one and goes to hang in the Capitol for the next year. And then I'm going to introduce uh, Mr. Bell just to say a few words about the Scholastic Arts and Writing Awards. My pleasure. Good evening, everyone. So Scholastic. This is amazing. You know, Scholastic is the longest running and one of the most prestigious competitions in the entire nation for creative teams. And each year we've had Scholastic Art winners. Now to give you some magnitude on what this accomplishment means, it's a really big deal. We had students submit their portfolios for this and then we had some individual work submitted those students competed in the toughest region around, the Northeast region, which stretches from D.C. through New York City all the way up into Maine. And those award winners were selected blindly by some luminaries in the art world, some big names. So it is a huge deal. Andy Warhol was a Scholastic Art winner when he was still in high school. If that gives you any magnitude of the importance of what they've accomplished, whether you're a gold key winner, a silver key winner, an honorable mention, it's huge. And we had 15 overall from Queen Anne's County Public Schools. So give it up for those students. And I'll turn it over so you can bring them up and show them. Okay. So this year we had 57 entries from Penn Island High School. 11 student awards, we had 12 honorable mentions, one silver key, and one gold key, and that is our very first gold key in Penn Island High School history. So Gay Beamer, congratulations. It's kind of a big deal. He's kind of a superstar. Yeah, so um, Gay, uh, We'll just talk about Gabe for a minute. 
So Gabe has been accepted to his first choice art school. Uh, and we'll talk about this a little bit more. Um, but by winning Scholastic, that gold key, it also earned him $3,000 extra dollars onto his scholarship. So, pretty cool. So, these are our honorable mentions. Marley Burr. Carmen Bell. And I gotta say, this was a piece that we did the very first day of school. <laughs> like, just freshmen were here, we're hanging out, having fun. Um, nothing too serious, just having a good time, and I mean, it turned out beautiful. And Carmen also won a photography honorable mention, so give it up to Carmen. Passion Carter. McKenna Connolly. Reese Dell. Rain Diedrichs. I don't know if you still have to change the Another one for Rain. Jake Eater. Sophia Kovau. Talia Crow. I'm glad you brought your fans with you, Kendra. Another one for Talia. And we did not have our team in person last year, as we all know, but Talia was also a Silver Key winner last year for her work, so she's kind of a big deal, too. <laughs> this year, our Silver Key winner, Emily. Oh, I told you. You're going to want to buy it. You're going to win it. Gabe Beaver. So this is our third year with uh, AP Arts here at Ken Island High School. We offer AP 2D Design, AP 3D Design, and AP Drawing. So far, fingers crossed, as of May 6th, but we've had a 100% pass rate in that time. Every student who's been enrolled has passed. Um, and I brought back a few of our judges from that inaugural year for this year because most of them earned perfect scores on their AP exams. So, it's only good vibes for these people right here. They are submitting a year's worth of artwork, a sustained investigation it's called. For nine months, they have been pursuing this question, this big question, in various forms of art. And I will tell you that what they are expected to do is like my thesis for college art. It is insane. It is insane. Um, and I just have to give huge, huge credit to Alyssa, Talia, Reese, Marin, and Gabe because one, they did amazing artwork. Two, they survived me. <laughs> this is also amazing. So Alyssa came to me with an idea to do her Eagle Scout project here as an installation for Ken Island High School as a tribute to the veterans who work here in our building, but also recognizing that students take a lot of different paths after high school. College is wonderful. It's not for everybody. The military is a really important choice that a lot of our students make, so we wanted to recognize that as well. So Alyssa uh, asked for NAHS help and art club help, and they worked. Alyssa, how many hours? A, a lot. It was a lot. A lot of hours. And painted these huge panels that were installed just a couple weeks ago in a beautiful ceremony. So first I want to thank her for bringing that idea to Ken Island. And for everybody who contributed to it, thank you. It was absolutely beautiful. And it makes a huge statement in our hallway. So I would encourage you to visit that at some point. It's in the stairwell leading out to the bus loop. Good job, Alyssa. See, she's pretty proud too. So as of now, and I just heard of another one today, but as of now we have two students who have committed and earned scholarships to go to their art schools. So we have Gay Beaver going to DCAD, majoring in illustration, and we have Delaney Land majoring in fashion at Moore College of Art and Design. So congratulations to both of them. I also found out today that 
Shanice Matthews is going to my alma mater, Edinburgh University, so I'm pretty excited about that too. Okay, so at this point, if you are being inducted into National Art Honor Society, I need you to come grab one of these carnations, and we are going to go ahead and get started. So I also need my officers to come forward. Please stand by. We're working on it. We're artists, okay? Organization is secondary sometimes. We're really great artists, though. going to brag on my National Art Honor Society here a little bit. So for the first year, we participated in homecoming with a float. Yes, I know it's mostly football and cheerleaders and the sports, but you know what? Our float was the prettiest. So all of these hand-painted panels were done by our National Art Honor Society. They are also for sale, so hey, if you would like to take a piece of art, of, of art home with you, let me know. Faith Hartlove, who is our president, also worked on a community outreach project. The Little Library Project, um, some of their doors had been damaged, so they reached out to us to paint them and beautify them in hopes that they wouldn't be damaged anymore. It worked so far, so I want to thank Faith for taking time to do that and helping out the uh, community project. We also participated in the small work show at the Queen Anne's County Arts Council. This was a fundraiser for the Arts Council, so all of these works were auctioned off, um, all made by our National Art Honor Society students. We also sometimes just have fun and do partner things, so we did a reverse tie-dye after school where we bleached black shirts and tie-dye them, so that was fun. We do a lot of work on the theater production, so if you went to see Little Mermaid, a lot of these people had something to do with that. Uh, uh, Queen Anne's County Commissioner Phil Dumanel donated a basket for us to paint, so our basket's in here somewhere, um, and we plan on making that an annual thing, so I'm really grateful to uh, Mr. Dumanel for including us in that tradition. Also for the first time, our National Art Honor Society was nationally published, not once, but twice. So um, they're doing amazing work, but they're also advocating for themselves, which is a really important skill to learn. We also sent four of our pieces to the National Art Honor Society jury competition. This is a national competition, and our very own Faith Art Love was selected for the online showcase, so congratulations to Faith.
KIHS, where we are an art family. We need, to, we find our gifts, we find friendship and a support system. We also see the influence our art has in the doors it opens. There are numerous opportunities for local, regional, and national recognition, leadership, growth opportunities, college and career preparation, scholarships, and more. Candles represent the three primary pigments, mined from the earth, that are the foundation from which all other colors came. There is a distinct challenge of being unique when we all start in the same place. Members of NAHS embrace that challenge. Okay, so now we're going to continue our ceremony with a tradition. Our society flower is actually the red carnation. It is the oldest cultivated flower. Uh, it dates back from the Greek and Roman Empire when they first recognized beauty and wanted to harvest it and keep it and grow it. So the carnation symbolizes our contribution of beauty to our world around us. That, that's our big hope, that they keep contributing beautiful things in the world well past uh, high school and whatever they choose to pursue after. So as we call our members forward, they're going to contribute their carnation to the bouquet. They're going to receive their certificate and join our members over here on this side. So our first new member, Sailor Alam. Raise your right hand. 
I will live my life to the best of my ability through my talents and art help to create a more beautiful world for myself, for humankind, and for all living things. Congratulations. Honor Society, you can come forward. Come here. Yep. 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 If all seniors could come forward. Okay, so now uh, we have our pledge, no, our chapter challenge from our president, uh, Faith Bartha. Okay, president's challenge. Art is essential. It's taught us innumerable lessons. Practice makes perfect. Small differences can have large effects. Collaboration leads to creativity. Our words are not the limit of what we can say, and our ideas made visual have impact. We've learned that there are many possible approaches to take when you have a challenge, and that all challenges can have more than one perfect solution. We don't need research to prove the benefits of our education. Tonight is evidence of impressive motivation, attitudes of risk taking, and perseverance, and of all confidence. I challenge you to implement the lessons art provides to continue bettering yourself as an artist and as a contributing better member of our society, whatever you do. We're going to get to the good stuff. We got awards to give out, like $1,200 worth of awards to give. So I'm going to let you all go ahead now. Media mashup, 
Ariana Shores. Best use of pattern, Delaney Thomas. Best use of texture, Sailor Alon. Best use of blaze, Taylor Harding. And we have another lacrosse player who is being named very diverse and multi-talented. Uh, our Perseverance Award goes to Casey Heath. Best in Fundamentals of Art Award is Elsa Lavoy. Darcy Boucher. Best in 3D Studio Part 1 is Georgia Hines. Best in Honors 2D Studio Art, Zane Smith. Honors 3D Studio Art, Claire Schultz. So we chose, the three of us, we each chose one outstanding visual journalist. Visual journals are a huge part of what we do. Um, it's part of planning, it's documentation, it's experimentation, it's inventing, it's therapy, it's, it's a lot of things. So, um, and there's a lot of really good visual journalists out there. This was a tough one to choose. Um, the first one we're gonna get, unfortunately, also at Lacrosse, Jackson Howell. Woo! Dad's gonna come get it for him. Dad is a fellow art teacher and values the arts just as much as any of us. Thank you so much. Our next outstanding visual journalist is Logan Andre. is an uh, outstanding visual journalist, is Oliver Bridges. Okay. Best use of dramatic lighting. This is a tough one. A lot of kids, you all know. How many times a day do I say value? At least five billion, yes. Uh, so this is a big one. Uh, Jaden Henry, best use of dramatic lighting. Artwork. This one speaks to my heart. Rain Diedrichs. Yeah! Best wheel thrown art, Ella Hoffman. If your hands are clean, come and get it. She was one of our potters back there tonight. So these were fun too. We chose two Rising Rookie Awards. We chose a 2D artist and a 3D artist, freshmen, who are going places, and we are excited to see go all the way through up to AP. So our first uh, Rising Rookie Award is Ellie Beamer. <laughs> it must run in the family, right? It says Beamer Team, they're artists. And our next Rising Rookie Award is Mark Monroe. This is a tough one. Realism is 
hard. And it's not something we stress. You don't have to be a realistic artist to be an amazing artist. But some students just have that knack and have that ability and put the time in, work really hard. And this student worked really hard. Best use of realism, Reese Delp. With these awards, we really like to spread the wealth. All different grades, different media, different uh, art classes. So we really try not to double up, but this one you just can't help it. This person is well deserving. The most likely to be purchased, Claire Schultz. If you didn't see her work, there were bowls in the back that have the animals in them, hand-thrown bowls with the uh, animals. They're incredible. Actually, I think somebody wanted to buy them already. Okay. So our most clear AP sustained investigation, I already talked a little bit about how difficult it is to work on one topic of artwork for that long. We're talking, you know, eight to ten artworks over nine months with tons of visual journals and revisions. And um, this student just really has a very clear sustained investigation that even if you weren't in the classroom, you would get it. And that's Talia Crow. <laughs> Even though it's like a surprise, it's really good. And last but not least, we have our Silver Buccaneer Award. Our Silver Buccaneer is somebody who works hard in the classroom, donates her time outside the classroom, has a beautiful heart, a beautiful spirit, just a really good person, and we see doing amazing things, taking multiple art classes, but just going above and beyond. And this year, our Silver Buccaneer Award goes to Jessica Zimmerman. anything AP people. They've been the one dealing with me for all these weeks of my crazy. Okay, so teachers repeat themselves. One more thing, uh, we just want to thank Ms. Schulte for all the hard work that she did. The show doesn't come together easy. Lots of people came out, uh, probably around 800 artworks here today. So not an easy task, and all the hard work that she puts in uh, throughout the year, and in particular in this time, we just want to say thank you, Michelle. It's pretty easy when we have a team like this. Thank you. You guys did amazing. Okay, so now teachers repeat themselves. Let's see how I did that. <laughs> teachers repeat themselves. I love you all. Take your stuff home. <laughs> Seriously, take your stuff home. Unless you are an AP student, do not take your stuff home. If you are sending your work to Kiva, do not take your stuff home. Everybody else, take your stuff home. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Ken Island Art Scene 22 is a huge success. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great night. <laughs>